Today, let me give you my four tips on how to take care of our citrus trees in preparation for some bad weather that's right around the corner. Tip number one, go to Google, type in your zip code and first frost date. I do mine and it says November 15th. So the pro tip is get that information and back it up three weeks and use these next three tips in order to get your trees acclimated and ready for the winter solstice. Tip number two, get your tree out of full sun. During that three week period, move it over to where it gets more dappled sun than it does full sun. This is gonna help the tree acclimate to the lighter, the lesser light conditions you're gonna provide it inside of a house. Even if you have all those snazzy grow lights, it's still not as powerful as the full blaze glory of a natural sunlight. So this will help reduce possible leaf drop and your tree will be used to those new conditions faster. So this way it won't go into shock as bad or if at all. Pro tip number three, get yourself some mosquito bits. Mix approximately one teaspoon for every gallon or two. And this will help you kill those little larvae and those little flies that are in your soil. So this way, when you bring your beautiful trees in, you don't have those little flying bugs driving you bananas. I've done this for the last five years and it helps destroy the fungus gnats. And you wanna do this once a week for three consecutive weeks to help destroy all the life cycles. So I've already pre-mixed. So let's go ahead and go to my one of my mandarin trees and take care of this beauty. I mix it in the water jug and let it soak for a while. And then so strain it because it if you apply it directly to soil and water, it will kind of mold out on you and kind of look funky. So if you do it this way, it works out awesome. I promise, this is what I do every year and it works great. Hey y'all, I was editing this video and I got one more pro tip to give you. Sorry, I forgot. When you guys are checking your first frost date, backing up those three weeks, make sure if your overnight temperatures start become sustained at 40 degrees, bring them in. Cause that's the easy threshold to remember. 40 degrees, bring them in. Yes, some could be doing okay, it's a little colder, but just general, generally speaking, 40 degrees is the good one. So I'll let you get back to your regular programming and hit that like button and enjoy the rest of the video. And my last pro tip, go ahead and get some neem oil. We, most of us know how to mix it. A teaspoon of neem oil in a 20 ounce bottle or so, a little bit of Castile soap as a surfactant. Shake it up real good and apply it in early morning or late afternoon in the evening. So that way it dries if the sun hits it and spray on top of your leaves, under your leaves, get your whole tree all neemed up. So this way we can help kill any bugs that are on there and destroy all that good stuff. So this way with your tree will be ready and healthy and no bugs on your tree. So when you bring it in, you have less issues to fight with. And then upcoming is my favorite one to do. So here it comes, my last pro tip, and actually my, one of my favorites, it's kind of, it's fun for me. Get your hose and spray the living crud out of your trees. You're trying to blast off any aphids, any loose scale, any mealybugs, anything you may not possibly see. My hose isn't quite long enough. I would have done it more in the dappled sun since it's right now, it's 95 degrees. But don't worry, I'll get it moved right after this. So there'll be no harm done to this tree. So go ahead, get your hose, and power it up and you're blasting your tree. You're trying to blow off any possible bugs. Go around, get 360 degrees of your whole entire tree. And you wanna do this once or twice a week, or at least twice a week, I think about it, for three weeks. So this way, it will help blow off any bugs naturally and do it non-neem days. So this way it'll help get all possible pests off your tree. So therefore, when you bring them in, 
you're not bringing in any nasty bugs and you just got to deal with what happens during the winter time and i guarantee you'll be a lot less bugs there you have it those are my tips go to google find out your frost date back it up three weeks and start the process one two or three times a week neem oil two or three times a week and then blast your tree a couple times a week and make sure you're getting it in the dappled light so it's getting used to a little bit less light conditions and then that way you'll have some way less problems during the winter time with your trees something i've been doing for the last 10 years so those are my little secrets on how to acclimate your tree for winter time and get them protected from all the pests that you could possibly bring in so do me a favor if you like all these tips hit that like button i really really appreciate it let's everyone know or lets me know that everyone likes the information and then let's youtube push it to more people that really need some of these pro tips have a blessed day and i'll see you on the next one